oglašamo se iz Škofje Loke, Zibelke programa MEPI. Zakaj je Zibelka? Leta 2004 se je v občini Škofje Loka pričelo organizirano širjenje programa MEPI po šolah. In dan danes imajo mladi v tej občini priložnost, da izvajajo program MEPI v osnovnih šolah in v vseh srednjih šolah. Danes smo pripeljali posebno gostjo, ki je želela v tri poselovskih odprav doživeti na lastni koži. Z nami je britanska veleposlanica Sophie Hani. This is the first MEPI expedition that I'm joining. It's fantastic to be here. I've given many MEPI awards and participated in MEPI ceremonies, but it's different to actually be joining people on an expedition. I think it's one of the most fun parts. It's really been brilliant for me to meet students from Škofja Loka, but also from Truro School who've come over from England, um, and to see them getting ready for their hikes, see how excited they are, all the preparations they've done. I've tried out their backpacks. They're really heavy. I'm quite, quite glad I wasn't hiking with one of those today. Uh, it's perfect weather, I think they're going to have a great four days. Gimnazija Škofja Loka in Tururo School letos beleži ta že deseto obletnico sodelovanja. Po okviru mladinske izmenjave, vsako leto meseca junija, Škofja Ločani gostijo angliške prijatelje, septembra pa mladi slovenci odletijo v Anglijo na odpravo. It's great to be here today. I've been seeing uh, schools from Slovenia, Škofja Loka Gymnasium and Truro School in the UK um, come together to prepare for the gold, their Gold Expedition Award. Um, they're also celebrating 20 years of MEPI in Slovenia, which is a fantastic achievement. Um, and it's just been great to see the students so excited, getting ready, checking their kits. Uh, and to hear about the, the British students staying in Slovene families. Um, Slovenes were discussing earlier what they need to take when they go back to the UK in September and uh, I think they're going to have a perfect day. Glede, razvijamo pa neposredne odnose, neposredno sodelovanje, tudi odnosi med Škofiloško gimnazijo in Angliško šolo, tako da so tle stkani res že desetletni odnosi, ki se razvijajo naprej. In jaz sem pripričan, da to vrstne odprave predvsem, ko so, ko so te naši mepijevci na terenu, ko se neposredno srečujejo z ljudmi, sploh z ljudmi iz naših gorskih vasic, recimo. E, lahko dejansko vidijo, kakšen je utrip določene države. In mislim, da je to tista glavna dodana vrednost, poleg tega, da se seveda družijo med seboj. Brez podpore slovenske vojske si gimnazija Škofje Loka postolovskih podvigov ne predstavlja, da bi jih lahko izpeljali. Ja, pomagal sem v teh 12-13 letih, sem pomagal nekje do, 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 do 1200-1300 dijakom in na to sem zelo ponosil. Sodelovanje šole Truro School in gimnazije Škofje Loka sega v leta 2006-2007, ko smo preko urada v Londonu pravzaprav dobili ponudbe z različnih šol v Angliji in na podlagi njihovih opisov, kaj lahko nudijo, kaj pričakujejo, kaj mi lahko nudimo in kaj mi pričakujemo, sem se odločila za Truro School in to je bil zadetek upolno. In smo izjemno, izjemno veseli in ponosni, da nam je vsem skupaj uspelo zadovoljiti naša pričakovanja, pa tudi njihova. Tokrat sodeluje preko 60 mladih izomenjenih šol. Mladi so razdeljeni v skupine med 4 in 7 člani, in premagujejo na dnevni ravni cirka 20 km. Tokratna odprava poteka na relaciji. Škofje Loka, pa vse do Dražgoš, na Jelovico, na Ratitovec in do Bohinja. The reason we love bringing our kids out to Slovenia is because it's the, the experience. It's very, very different. Um, to, to be in a campsite like, like this, we just don't get this in the UK. Oh, it's certainly not in Dart Dartmoor and Bodmin. It's a huge undertaking though to do an expedition abroad. So we couldn't do this without the help of the Slovenian army. This would not be possible. So that's what makes it hard in other countries sometimes is, is to have the support to do it. Na sodelovanje z Mepijevci iz Velike Britanije sem pač že nestrpno čakal že odkar sem se pridružil programu Mepi. Um, in vsako leto je program Mepi bolj bogat z izkušnjami, ker vsako leto je še en dodaten dan. Um, tako da izkušnje so na, na splošno bolj polne. Naša skupina se ukvarja pač na tej odpravi z raziskovanjem in opazovanjem uh, višinskih raslinskih pasov. I think it's nice because you spend quite a lot of time with your team so you get to know them quite well and you develop different uh, relationships through getting each other through it. Um, it's also quite good to be self-sufficient 
um, and it's nice to know that you can do this all by yourself, so um, that's quite independent. Na sodelovanje z Veliko Britanijo gledam zelo zanimivo in mislim, da dobimo s tem veliki skušen. Tudi tudi ponavljamo angleščino, spoznamo novo nove prijatelje. I think the the um, cooperation between our school and Skopje Loka is it's nice. It's nice having um, like meeting the the students from that school and being able to socialize with them and see because theirs is slightly different than ours and it's seeing how like they're di it's different and just I don't know I, I do I, I really like that and then they'll come over to England and we'll show them the ways over there and I don't know it's it's nice. Delovanje z Veliko Britanijo se mi zdi zelo v redu, ker spoznamo vrstnike iz drugih držav, njihove navade, sposobnosti. In our school we're lucky enough to have the opportunity to do so. I think it should be offered in every school. So hopefully maybe in the future that would happen because it's definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Also it's just amazing and it shows that it's good because it brings people together and it's something to talk about as well. Bistvo je tudi um saj za mojem pojmu sodelovanje, pa strpnost v skupini, da pomagamo en drugemu, da pridobimo nove izkušnje, um da koristimo različne znanje, pa da vsak prispeva neki v delovanju. This one has been particularly hard because it's a, a different country, um, a different climate. It's so much hotter here than um, back in England. And just, just generally, it's been completely different, really. Um, the, there are hills and like high climbs back at home, but um, not probably to the same extent, and there's not as many. Like, yeah, these ones are quite, quite horrific. And a full pomemna stvar, ki se na dobu premepijo, je racionalizacija. Na primer, naučil sem se, kak zelo skrčet stvari, pa res vzeti tisto, kar je najbolj pomemben sabo, da ne nosiš vsega, kar ne rabiš. The most difficult thing I have experienced from DAV is probably learning how to map read and how to get to a certain place with only a compass and a map. Because I'm not very adventurous, it's definitely out of my comfort zone, but it's, um, it took time, but now I feel confident and I can definitely use it in the future. Največi izziv pri tej odpravi je uspon in to, da se ne zgubiš. Največi izziv pri tej odpravi je to, da premagaš samega sebe, da premagaš vročino in da se spodbujaš. First day, um, surprisingly not as difficult as I expected. Still, like, working with the heat and also with the different maps because obviously the contours are so much like tighter. It's completely different, but it's manageable. And we did get lost, but we managed to use all of our skills to pull through it. So that's good. Yeah, I don't know, I'm going to maybe connect with the idea that we are together, and we help each other on some kind of things, which we don't know where we could be, but that's all about Bogno. Yeah, I'm going to connect. Med sabo se moramo na odpravah zelo spodbujati, pač skupina mora biti enotna in to je tudi zelo pomembno v tih odpravah. To understand other people's feelings and definitely like cultures and living in different environments. So in the UK, the weather and the terrain and the culture is completely different to like Slovenia or anywhere else around the world. And in order to connect, you have to understand.